Hey Scrappers, Tom here, and over the last few months we've been researching a lot of the lithium ion battery recycling. It's been a really crazy topic that a lot of people have asked us about, and we haven't had much information on it, so instead of just giving you something blindly, we started to research it, talk to people, and I'll tell you what I've found so far. Most scrapyards that I've talked to don't take lithium ion batteries, even though they're in cell phones and laptops and uh, you know tablets and, and all types of things, including cars, right? Um, many of them don't have a downstream vendor. What does that mean? They have no one to sell them to. They don't even have anyone to give them to. And, and most of that reason is there's not a positive pay on them. It costs money to get rid of a lot of these unless you have massive amounts of weight. So when you're taking things apart and you're coming across lithium ion batteries, which will be more and more as the, the days, weeks, and months continue to roll on and we go towards this electric path opposed from the, the, the traditional paths and more electronics come in to the markets, we're gonna watch these markets for the lithium, but right now there's not much headway. Why is that? It's really hard to recycle this stuff. Copper, you know, is, is a, an alloy. Copper is a, a metal, excuse me. And you have it, and you can and you can melt it down and make more ingots. And it's really very turnkey. Drop it into a furnace, let the the furnace sweat out all the the pollutants, come up with a clean bar, test it for purity, put it back into the market. Lithium ion isn't like that because lithium ion is generally combined with something else. You hear people mining for lithium, but oftentimes they're combining it with something like cobalt or nickel or some other type of metal, even steel. So you can't just melt lithium. You know, if you've, if you've seen any of these videos online where people take these AA lithium batteries, they take the shell off, they roll out the foil, they put it in a bowl of water and poof, it, it lights on fire, that's a real fear. So when you're going to recycle these things, you can't just throw them into a shredder. You can't just throw them into a furnace. You have major problems. So special shredding machines, special operations are being set up. One of the big things that the federal government did in 2022 was promoting the growth of the lithium market and the reusable market inside of the United States. And they're pouring billions of dollars into the recycling industry but no one's really having much success. There's a couple of large companies, Retrieve I believe is one of them, that is out there recycling these, but their downstream processes and their machines, while they're working, they're not on a mass uh, mass level of to be able to, to cons mass consumption level, excuse me, like a steel mill, like a copper recycler would be. So right now, scrapyards aren't going to touch these. We don't have to touch these unless it's some type of a state or federal mandate, which it isn't. You don't have to buy things, especially or, or even charge for things, because I do know that some people will take the batteries but they're gonna charge you to get rid of them because they have a negative cost associated with it. So what does that mean? Let's say the scrapyard needs to pay you know, XYZ battery buyer, the scrapyard needs to pay them a dollar per pound. So if you wanna get rid of that stuff and the scrapyard has to pay to dispose of it, how are they gonna make money? Well, they're gonna charge you a dollar fifty per pound so they can make their 50 cent profit. I'm just making up these numbers, right? 50 cent profit would be great. but. When they go to get rid of them, the paperwork, the handling, these things aren't as simple as regular everyday scrap has been for over 120 years. So it's a whole new beast. It's not very uh, efficient right now and most scrapyards don't have ways to get rid of things so they're not dealing with them and that's a problem too. So what we've started to see is these companies that are starting to produce recycling of batteries but they are, in my opinion, two to three years away, here we are January 2023, I can't imagine it being until 2025 when there's more capabilities and more pricing out there and where we have to get to is not a negative charge because day-to-day -day scrappers are not gonna wanna pay money to get rid of these things because if you're getting something for free, why are you gonna then pay to get rid of it or if you're getting it to recycle it, you're not making money there. There has to become a net payout and we're years away from that happening and commodity prices of course will have something to do with it but this lithium market is, is very new, it's very raw and you're gonna have to have patience with it. I actually talked to a couple of auto dealers that are not accepting either hybrid or fully electric vehicles into their yards. 
they, they don't know what to do with the batteries. While the parts might be good, unless the tow truck, unless the, the auto wrecker, unless whoever it is that's selling it to them, the customer is removing the battery, they don't want to deal with these. And that's an issue because the massive amount of metals that are inside of them are not easily recyclable. And that is a problem that's continued to being worked on. So as we find more information out about it, we'll share it with you. Please comment below and let us know what other videos that you want us to talk about. Until next time, I'll scrap you later. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.